this is the Hyundai i30N Performance. And if you've watched any videos about it or read anything about it, you'll know it's a very good hot hatch. You might also know that this N badge stands for Nürburgring. That's where the car was developed. So we've brought it here to the Nürburgring of the north of England. Okay, so Cadwell Park in Lincolnshire isn't exactly the Nürburgring, but look at the way it rises and falls. Look at the way it twists and turns through the trees. All it needs is a bit of graffiti, and this could be the Nordschleife. No wonder Cadwell Park is known as a mini Nürburgring. This is the i30N Performance, the more expensive, more powerful of the two models. It has 275 horsepower from a 2.0-litre turbo engine, it does 0-60 to in 6.1 seconds, and tops out at 155. So we've got a double opportunity today. We can have a go on this extremely challenging circuit, this really distinctive Cadwell Park, and see just how much fun it is. And we can also try this very promising Hyundai i30N performance hot hatch on track, see if it can live with a proper racetrack. Try not to be distracted by this open face helmet. I know it's not flattering. So, Cadwell Park in Lincolnshire. In the UK, we've got two types of racetrack, really. We've got old airfield circuits, Silverstone, Castle Coombe. They're wide, they're open, they're flat, often very, very fast. And then we have Parkland circuits, Alton Park, Donington Park, Brands Hatch, Cadwell Park. They have gradient change. They have tight, twisty sections as well as really fast bits. They're much prettier to look at. And Cadwell Park is perhaps the prettiest and most challenging of all of them. Wow, what a place. So we're up at the top of the circuit now at the far end. This long, 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 unending right-hander. And then round we come into the gooseneck, a drop downhill. Surely one of the steepest drops in all of British motor racing. Tight left-hander here. Now we're back to the bottom of the circuit, heading up to this very, very tight mountain section. Clip the curb there, full power. Up the top, can't see a thing, and there we go. You take off there in a fast car or a motorbike, and then straight into this very, very twisty section. Wow. What a brilliant bit of track that is. I almost crashed the catering there once. It gets very slippery in the wet under the trees there. <sighs> wow, okay. It's Leading up to coppice. Ooh, scary fast corner this is. Every time you go through it, you realize you could have carried so much more speed. Yet once again, I took off way too much speed. I'll grow up with that one next time. And then you come up to the top, so you're at the top of the circuit now, and then it all opens out around you, and you can see what feels like two-thirds of the circuit. Completely different character to the rest of it. Wide, open, very, very fast. Rising up here, and it's blind, can't see a thing. And then you eventually spot the breaking point. And then we're back into the very, very long, endless right-hander once again. Whew. It's a hell of a circuit, this. It really, really is. Whether you prefer two wheels or four, get yourself booked on a track day at Cadwell Park. It's a sensational place. What about this car, then? You know what? It's time that we take Hyundai and its N brand seriously. They are not messing about with this car. They've employed Albert Biermann, who ran BMW's M division for a long time. How about that for credentials? They've got a dedicated development centre at the Nürburgring and they're winning rallies in the World Rally Championship these days. Yeah, these guys mean business and this car, wow. So, we're on a bespoke Pirelli P0 tyre. Really, really good grip in the dry actually. And the tyre's not fading. We've got a good pointy chassis balance. What do I mean by that? I mean. It's got a great front end, no understeer really in it, and the rear end is right there with you. You can feel that the car's got balance. It feels fantastic. And it just means you can lean on the front end so hard, chase speed through every corner, steers beautifully, lovely crisp direct steering, no slack in it, pretty good feel as well. Yeah, it's such a stable, secure, but agile chassis this. Really good body control, really good turn in. Can you tell I'm struggling 
to criticise this car in any meaningful way. So, is there anything I don't like about it? I wish the engine revved harder all the way around to the red line. I wish it lit up over the final 1,000 RPM rather than wilting a little bit. It's not really a big deal. The car's also a little bit over 1,500 kilograms for a front-wheel drive hot hatch. That's quite a lot, isn't it, really? It's 100 kilos more than a Civic Type R or a Golf GTI. I can't feel the extra weight, but it's there. If the car was 100 kilograms lighter, it would be faster. It would be more agile. Yeah, it's nicely balanced. It's got all the hallmarks of a really, really good front-wheel drive hot hatch, this car, for a first effort, my word. Hyundai, you've done a fantastic job with this car. Car and circuit combination doesn't get much better than this.